Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Son estudiantes. Sí. Están en el colegio. Este, Tatito. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. How you been doing? Okay. We're going to have a few more minutes, two more minutes, so we can have all the students here, okay? Right, so far, we are only 23 right now out of uh, 42 students. Let's admit someone else here. Tell me, are you ready for tomorrow's uh, celebration? Good, good. That's nice. Okay. We're going to have lots of fun to, uh, tomorrow. Okay. So get ready. I also uh, want to let you know that uh, check on your uh, platform. Okay. Edu. So just to get familiar and familiarize with that uh, application, okay? Uh, next week, you can send already your uh, homework, okay? To that uh, platform, edu platform, or my email, okay? Either way, you can send it. You can send it to my email or to the platform as well, okay? But we're gonna use it uh, next week. We're going to get more uh, used to use that platform get to know it better okay let's see uh 29 uh okay so today uh we are supposed to have another class tomorrow because of uh, of the celebration that we have in uh, in honor of don bosco we won't have that class okay we have another uh, event uh, to cover okay so today we want to try to see uh, if you have questions about our guide number one, okay, which is present perfect. If you have any questions, okay, you can ask me uh, today, okay? We will have class tomorrow. So make sure today we finish with that, okay? I'm going to explain to you one by one to uh, you all understand this uh, guide, okay? So I'm going to share a screen right now and begin the class, okay? Oh, before that, I'm going to pass our list, attendance. I'm gonna call your name and you answer me, okay? If you see that there is a, a someone that I mentioned, and if it's no longer with you, please let me know, okay? Or if you don't have a microphone, you type your name, okay? Or anybody else can tell me, someone else can tell me if he is uh, here, okay? So let's begin. When I call your name, Acosta Sanchez, Diego Alejandro. Presente, profe. Thank you. Arias Santizo, Luis Emilio. Arias Santizo, Luis Emilio.
Bolaños Reyes, Josué Rafael. Bolaños Reyes, Josué Rafael. Bonilla Pineda. Ok, Bolaños is here. Bonilla Pineda, Juan David. Present teacher. Borrayo López, Cristian Antonio. Thank you. Borrayo López, Cristian Antonio. Cabrera Elías, Cristian Josué. Present. Thank you. Cabrera Gaitán, Josué Alejandro. Cabrera Gaitán is not here. Cartagena Morales, Manuel. Chua Grijalva, Luis Emilio. Presente. Thank you. Corrado Falla, Juan Pablo. Teacher, it's not here. Okay, Corrado is not here. Thank you. Teacher, eh, lo que pasa ya, es que no Corrado, colegio, Corrado no está en esta clase. He's the old list teacher. Yes. Ya no está en el colegio. Okay. So I'm going to uh, take it off the list. Okay, thank you. Uh, gracias por decirme. Okay, cuando pase así me avisan, por favor. Así lo voy a. Uh, what I'm doing is updating the list. Okay. Okay. Let's. I need someone else. Just a second. All right. Cordon Cruz, Alejandro. Present perfect. Thank you. Del Cid Martinez, Pablo. Del Cid Martinez, Pablo. Escobar Guerra, David. Present. Thank you. Pro, pro, profe. Yes. Eh, no sé si le pasó lista a Luis Emilio Arias Santizo, pero en el chat puso I am here. Arias Santizo. Ok. Muy bien. Gracias. Del Cid Martínez, Pablo Fernando. Profe. Okay. Ajá. I am Víctor Fuentes. Who? Víctor Fuentes. Víctor Fuentes Godínez, ok, aquí está, ¿verdad? Is here. Yes. Ok, all right, thank you. A uh, García Beltetón Lester. García Beltetón Lester. Ok. García Llama Sebastián. García Llama. Okay, thank you. González Quiñones Ángel. Present teacher. Thank you. Guerrero Guzmán Gabriel. Present. Cle López Kimi Adrián. Cle López Kimi Adrián. Okay. Teacher, uh, yes. he wrote in, on the chat. Okay, all right. Thank you very much. Landa Berry Duarte. Present. Thank you. Leon Cáceres Jose. Leon Cáceres Jose Andres. Loarca Enríquez Marco Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Loarca Herrera Luis Alexander. Present. Thank you. López Cal Diego. Mm. 
López Cal, Diego Haroldo. López Mena, José, eh, Jorge Eduardo. López Mena, Jorge Eduardo. Masaya Pérez, Oscar Alejandro. Yeah. Ok. Sí. Cartagena Morales. Cartagena Morales is here, right? Yes. Ok, thank you. Where were we? Uh, López, López Herrera, Luis Alexander, ya lo mencionamos, ok. 24, López Caal, López Mena, Jorge Eduardo. No está. Masaya Pérez, Oscar Alejandro. Thank you, profe. Thank you. Mendoza Mezquita, o Mezquita, Jefferson Alexis. Thank you. Thank you. Mérida Velázquez, Marco David. Present teacher. Thank you. Morales Guzmán Orlando José. Ogaldes de León, Rodrigo Sebastián. Present President. Thank you. Orantes Álvarez Rubén Alejandro. Present. Thank you. Orozco Monroy Javier Eduardo. Presente. Okay. Ortiz y Fuentes, Sergio Giovanni. I'm here. Thank you. Palacios Martínez, Diego André. Romero Melgar Rodrigo, Emilio. Present. Thank you. Salik Paredes, Santiago. Present. Okay, okay. Saló Kuma Luis Ángel. Presente. Okay. Present. Thank you. Sof López Ricardo. Present. Okay. Terraza Marroquín. Here. Thank you. Valdés Morales Esteban. Profe, él ya no está en el colegio. Tampoco, muy bien. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, so Valdez is no longer here. Alrighty. Uh, so then is uh, we have here Vasquez Quiñones Wilson is here. Okay. Uh, did I mention Terraza Marroquín Fabio Álvaro? Terraza Marroquín Fabio. What happened? Sí, estoy aquí. ¿Qué pasó? Okay. All right. Thank you. Jackian Santizo Jorge Emanuel. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Okay. So that's it uh, for the list. Thank you very much. What I'm going, going to do right now is going to share a screen. Okay. So we go and revise our uh, un, uh, unit one and guide number one. Okay. As well. Okay. Thank you. So let's see. I'm here. <laughs> okay. All right. You're supposed to write it. I am here. Okay. Like this. Okay, Jose Alejandro, perdón. Uh, los que entraron ahorita, whoever got in here uh, late, tell me your name, please. Jose Alejandro came late, right? 
No, teacher, yo ya estaba desde el principio. Ok, muy bien. All right, all right. Uh, Kimi as well and Luis Emilio. Ok. All right, all right. Alias. Le. Incorto. Ok, thank you. Let's see, we're going to share now. Have any of you finished the guide number one? Terminaron la guía uno? Or not yet? Yes. Teacher. Yes. Um, oh, yeah. Teacher. Yes, Ruben. Son. Oh, Diego. Do you have a question? Uh, sorry. Uh -huh. uh, yes, I have a question. Uh, today I will uh, do my homework because my my I have a uh, today I will uh, make my homework. Uh, okay. If I finish if I finish my homework today, uh -huh. I can send you uh, in your email. Correct. Because yes. the. Be, because my the because the platform edu is not available now okay i understand not to worry okay don't worry about that just send me all the email uh, to my email okay all the email you have. once you finish send it to my email okay i already gave you uh, gave you my email right so you oh have, yes thank you you're welcome okay to all of you, okay, uh, second grade, okay, section A, you can send me uh, to my email, all the homework from guide number one. You have until February 1st, next Monday, to send this homework, okay? So you have the weekend to do it, all right? We're going to check on this, okay? Right now, uh, can you see my screen right now, right? Yes, teacher. So series one says, complete each sentence with the words in parentheses. Use the present perfect have or has. Remember, have will be for I, you, we, they, okay? And has, we use it when we use he, she, and it. That's it, okay? We have an example here. We have camping together twice. We said that in the previous uh, class, we have to use Jack and Bob have, okay? The verb go. We're going to see in our uh, page 123 all the verbs, okay? Go, the past participle of go is went, okay? So we're going to write Jack and Bob have, I'm sorry, that's past, went. Gone is the past participle. Jack and Bob have gone camping together twice, okay? Number one, I'm gonna help you with that as well, okay? So just to make sure that you understand. And next week, we're going to check on our uh, book, okay? Make sure you have your book available right now, okay? Over here in page number four, page number four, okay? All of you. If you don't have the book yet, si no tienen el libro aún, you can buy it uh, tomorrow Friday at the school, Don Bosco, uh, Colegio Don Bosco. You can go at Colegio Don Bosco okay, and buy the book that you need. Okay, they're going to be available tomorrow as well. All right, continue with this. Number one, okay, in series one, we have at that restaurant several times. So we use we have the past participle of it is eaten. So we will write we have eaten at that restaurant several times just to complete the sentence. Okay. Then we have number two, the homework. What about you? Remember, it is a question when something with the sentence is a question first you have to put the verb have or has 
that'll make a question, okay? Like this, have or has. Then you will put have I not. You can follow that number two. Have I not done the homework? How about you? Okay, you're gonna help you with the other one. Remember, when you use a question, when you're going to write a question sentence, first goes have or has. Okay, do you have any question with this? No? Or you can say, have I not? Teacher. teacher. Yes, tell me. Uh -huh. um, and the sentences too, uh, not, we put don't. Uh, no, or don't put it... don't, because we are talking about present perfect. I'm going to write it just to make sure that you understand that one, okay? Okay. Have not I, or you can write it like this. Have not I or haven't I, okay, done my homework yet? You have to look at the verb, this one, this verb, do is present, okay? Do is present, did is past, and done, okay, is past participle. Where have you, can you check this? Can you see your book over here? This part, okay? Look at this part over here. We have a few or several verbs in present form, past form, and past participle. Now, uh, the third one, the third verb, it says do, did, done we are we are going to use done okay thanks teacher you're welcome it's kind of hard haven't, haven't i done uh let's see How am I done? Okay, sorry. Uh, there is a mistake here in my uh, the way I did uh, the this number two. Okay, you wanna write it like this because it's a question, but it's a question in this second part. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I made a mistake here. Okay. This part is what it's asking. The word, uh, I'm going to write the whole sentence, okay? The way it's supposed to, uh, to be, okay? I haven't done my homework. What about you? Okay, if you can see here, I haven't done my homework. And the question in the bottom says, okay, what about you? Okay, I, I already gave you the second one, okay? Now, in number three, sentence that's where you have to uh, put first have okay remember as well regular verbs don't change use add 
D, E, D, or I, D, okay? Regular verbs. At the end, just add D, E, D, or I, E, D. Okay? For example, make. The past participle of make, number three over here. Okay, this one is, I'm sorry. Make is made, okay? Past participle of make is made. And you can look in, one, in the page 123, okay? All right. Series number two, there is a questions, sentences. Here is the example. We have in parentheses ever George go horseback riding. And because it's a question, okay, you're going to write, has George ever gone horseback riding? That's the question. Second one, we saw this, okay? Ready, you take a tour to the statue of the Statue of Liberty. Okay. So we remember that we wrote, have you taken, have you already taken a tour of the Statue of Liberty? And so on, okay? Like this. Before, like, number two, before your friends be to London. Remember, verbs over here in take is taken. Be, okay, is been. Go is gone. Try, number four, is tried. Why is tried? Because it's a regular verb. Travel is another regular verb. We only add ed, traveled, traveled, okay? And meet, this is an irregular verb. Meet is, is met. There is no other way. Meet, past is met, past participle, met as well. Okay? Try to do it the best you can. And tomorrow, or uh, let's see, uh, Tuesday, next Tuesday, we're going to see uh, how to uh, get it correctly, okay? This one over here. Okay. Now, we have here a segment, okay, that we need to read. Pay attention, I'm going to read it for you, okay? Because we don't have too much time. If we did, we could uh, be on tomorrow class, but we don't have tomorrow class, okay? So it says here, it's a uh, mean what you say, the art of conversation. It's always a good idea to study the language. I'm sorry, it was just... Okay, let's go back to our... Uh page here. All right. It's always a good idea to study the language of a foreign country before you travel there. But speaking with someone from another country can involve more than just words in a different language. People in different countries can have very different customs when they speak. People in Indonesia, for example, always want to be agreeable and polite. And this means that they don't like to say no. In their native language, Bahasa Indonesia, there are many ways to say yes. But 12 of these yes words actually mean no. Australians are friendly with people, but they value directness. Australians prefer a clear, direct response, even if it's not the one they want to. The French appreciate the art of conversation, which can be included arguing as a form of entertainment. In this case, speakers may interrupt each other frequently. This is considered active participation in the conversation by both people. 
it is better than one person lecturing the other. As in many other Latin American countries, titles are very important in Costa Rica. People's titles can indicate their professions, such as doctor, doctor, or ingeniero, engineer. Licenciado is used when talking with, to someone with a college degree. If someone doesn't have a professional title, Señor, Mr., Señora, Mrs., or Señorita, Miss, are appropriate. What you, what you have to do here is, for example, they're going to ask you some questions regarding this uh, segment of reading, okay? All right. It says here, in which country do people dislike saying no directly? We go and check our over here reading and we find that uh, people from Indonesia, okay, from Indonesia, they dislike saying no. So we underline Indonesia, all right? Number one says Australians prefer to say, pre prefer to say yes, receive a direct answer, say no, or argue for entertainment. Okay, so you have to choose between those four. Number two says in Indonesia, it is considered polite too. You have to choose between these four, okay? One of these are correct, okay? All right. Number three, what can you expect? Sorry, what can you expect to find during an argument in France? Then you have to choose between these four. How can you choose this for? You go back over here to the lecture and read. Sorry. The French appreciate the art conversation and so on, okay? You read this part and then go back and answer, okay? All right. What the, uh, what the French think about this, okay? And then Costa Ricans, they like to argue, interrupt, say no, or refer to a person's profession. Okay? Any questions regarding series number three? Do you have questions or it's clear? Okay. So let's continue then. Series number four. Okay. Here you have to record a video. You're going to record a video or an audio for one minute, okay? Record a video or an audio for one minute. You have to talk, okay? Do not read. Do not read. Talk, okay? About a place you have never been but want to visit, okay? Okay, I can ask you, but you are so many right now. I can ask you, what is a place that you never uh, been, you have never been and you want to visit, okay? You might say, oh, I like to go to uh, Germany. I never been there. Why well, have never been there, okay? So what is it, okay? Uh, let's see. What is, where is it, okay? Where is located? Where is it located, okay, this place? Next question is, why do you want to go there? Well, I can say, I want to go to Germany because I like the culture. I like uh, German people, etc. okay? Next one is, what do you want to do or try it over there, okay? Well, I want to do some sightseeing. Sightseeing is look around, see the places, the, the museums, see the mountains, see uh, the rivers, etc. okay? Then for this, you have to use the present perfect tense, okay? Present perfect tense, because that's what we're seeing right now, okay? For example, here is an example that you need, uh, you can uh, get familiar with. It says here, I've or I have never 
construction is I. I've never been to Nepal and I want to go there. I think the culture is fascinating. Okay. So for this, what you have to do is when I'm going to upgrade for, uh, for you, when you present this uh, video or audio, I'm going to check if you use the correctly grammar from the unit, okay? To use the appropriate vocabulary from the unit. This means you have to talk in present perfect tense, okay? And to understand, do I understand the student? When you send me your uh, video, I need to check if I, I can understand what you're saying, okay? When you talk to me, I have to understand what you say. And do you express yourself? Can you express yourself fluently? If you can talk fluently, okay, the corrido? Or uh, did the student complete in the time required? You have to do it for one minute, no less, no more, okay? One minute, try to do it in one minute, okay? And next week, we're going to just do a review of this part. We're going to do that. Uh, we were going to do this tomorrow, but we can't because we have no time for that, okay? So, is there any questions about this right now, this uh, part? No or yes? Okay. Yeah, here, you have any questions? Oh, yeah, here. The Aaron is not here, right? But he's just in a spirit. Okay. How about Rodrigo? Is Rodrigo here or is he sleeping as well? Well, since you have no questions, I'm going to say goodbye today. Get ready for tomorrow's celebration, okay? And thank you very much, okay? See you next week, okay? Thank you.